What's up guys, my name is Stevie, aka NLB Stevie, and today we have the first installment of a series I'm going to be doing, teaching you guys how to do various things with audio engineering, producing, vocal recording, etc. I made a couple tutorials a few years ago and y'all seemed to really dig it, so I figured I'd start making more of that. So with that being said, let's get right into the first video. This is going to be on vocal compression. Alright, so first off, what is compression? Compression is the thing that you need to make your song sound professional. What it technically does is it squashes the audio file to bring up the lows and bring down the highs, but I mean, we don't need to know that. It, you just need to make it sound good. So let's take a listen. This is a song I'm currently working on, just so you can get the vibes. Honey babe, you gon' fall when I check on Shorty babe, but she ain't even the best one. I know they mad, cause they ain't us, they hate us. I know they mad, cause they can't live like this. All right, so you get the vibes. Um, let's hop right into the compression. So, first thing we're gonna do is put this over here. All right, so this is just with EQ and a deesser. Honey, babe, you gon' fall when I check on shorty, babe, but she ain't even the best one. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a stock compressor. Every DAW that you will ever have has a stock compressor, whether you're using FL, Ableton, Pro Tools, they all come with one. So we're gonna start here. Um, I like to use the fruity limiter because you can actually see what's going on. So um, you just wanna switch it over to compressor mode. Now, the three knobs that I want you to worry about right now is the gain, the threshold, and the ratio. Everything else, just forget about it. It doesn't exist right now. So. We're gonna play the audio so you can see it. Honey babe, you gon' fall when I check on shorty babe. Alright, so right here, this is the waveform. This is the audio. Um, what you want to do first is start with the threshold. We're going to take this blue line and we're gonna bring it down so it picks up the signal. Think about it just like if you were making a sand castle and you scrape off all the excess sand at the top. That's essentially what we're doing to the audio. Um Something very important, this knob right here, if you put on a compressor and you do not turn this knob, it is not going to do anything. So the ratio is what actually makes the compression work. So you can see in the top left corner over here, when I turn it, you can see the number change. You want to start off with a two to one ratio because that's pretty standard for most uh, vocal compression. Um, and then we will go from there. Honey babe, you gon' fall when I check on shorty babe But she ain't even the best one, I know they mad Cause they ain't us, they hate us, I know they mad So we're gonna A and B that so you can hear it Honey babe, you gon' fall when I check on shorty babe But she ain't even the best one, I know they mad Cause they ain't us, they hate us, I know they I don't know if you could hear that, it's pretty subtle But um, you might have noticed it got a little quieter Um so this is what the gain knob is for. You turn this back up. Honey babe, you gon' fall when I check on shorty babe. But she ain't even the best one. I know they mad, cause they ain't a And then you get the volume back. So right over here, this is very important to look at too. Um, this is your volume in decibels. So zero is the loudest you wanna go. But for uh, putting it on a song, you probably don't want to go past nine. I like to keep it around there, at least for the way I mix. Honey babe, you gon' fall when I check on shorty babe. But she ain't even the best one. I know they mad, cause they ain't us, they hate us. I know they mad, cause they get. So you can see this green bar jumping around. Essentially, what you're trying to do is make it jump around the least as you possibly can without just completely having it flatline, cause that's just gonna be a dead signal. It's not gonna sound good. So. We can actually turn up the ratio a little bit because, as you can see, it's jumping around. Honey babe, you gon' fall when I check on shorty babe. But she ain't even the best one. I know they mad, cause they ain't us, they hate us. I know they mad, cause they can't live like this. I'm in that new job, Kuba, with the roots I miss. And shorty glue up, ooh, I need you to have my children. And as you can see right there, everything's even. It's looking pretty clean, it's not jumping all around in the mix. So that is your basic compressor 
very very basic stuff um if you want me to get into more details or using any fancy compressors or other various compression methods just leave a comment in the comments below and let me know if you want me to make a video on that all right guys so that pretty much wraps us up here short and simple tutorial this is aimed for the beginners out there we all got to start somewhere um if you guys like this please leave a like below um if you have any suggestions for a video that you want uh me to do leave it in the comments below um make sure you hit the subscribe and that bell notification so you get notified when i post a new video and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon